What's up guys, it's Tobias here. Welcome back to EK15 CLC. And today I will give you some interesting news about Warner Bros. DC Entertainment and Justice League. Warner Bros. DC Entertainment is bringing out all its stars for this weekend's comic book mashup, Justice League. But will audience embrace the superhero squad at the box office the way they flocked to this summer's Wonder Woman? So far, the answer seems to be maybe. The film, which has Ben Affleck's Batman and Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman fighting alongside other DC crusaders like Ezra Miller's The Flash, Jason Momoa's Aquaman and Ray Fisher's Cyborg brought in $13 million in preview showings on Thursday night. That's not bad. But Wonder Woman brought in $11 million for its Thursday night screenings. And that film wasn't packed with superheroes. Wonder Woman ultimately racked in $103 million domestically its opening weekend in June. Just the League is projected to make roughly $110 million for its opening in North America this weekend. According to industry analysts, that would put it behind 2013's Man of Steel and 2016's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Suicide Squad. However, some analysts who are looking at Friday's early box office returns are saying that the film could potentially dip lower. If just like meets expectations, it will topple Wonder Woman's opening weekend performance. However, Wonder Woman had something that Just the League then does not. Rape reveals. Wonder Woman currently holds a 92% score on review site Rotten Tomatoes, which makes it one of the best revealed films of the year. Just the League, on the other hand, clocks in at 39%, which may not affect its initial opening, but it could hurt ticket sales in the weeks to come. The acclaim for Wonder Woman helped build word of mouth, which kept audience coming back weeks, even months after it opened, retrieved from CNN. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it. Stay awesome, bros.